Hi, everyone. I'm Madeline Arias, Associate Editor with SPNT. Every year, SPNT's Hall of Fame recognizes outstanding security professionals for their skills and contributions to their communities. This year in the spotlight, SPNT has selected Dr. Sue Abu Hakima, who is co founder and CEO of All Starry. She also brings 35 years of experience to the security industry. Sue, thank you so much for being here with me today. You're most welcome. It's an absolute pleasure to be here. So I'm very curious to know, what would you say has been your proudest moment in your career so far? Oh, there have been so many. Oh, my goodness gracious. Um, thus far, I've had a wonderful career. I have exited two startups successfully in tech and in security. Um, the first one it was uh, in AI and analysis and we exited it to Entrust uh, in the area of compliance. And then the second one we exited more recently, Amica Mobile, which was focused on critical and emergency communications and it was exited to Genesis. So that was in 2020. And then we launched Alstari, which is uh, means awesome in Esperanto, by the way. We had to go and do a big name search to find a name. Um, so I'd have to say that I've had so many highlight uh, careers. My teams have been uh, fantastic. Also, I've worked with incredible teams. So I think one of the things that I do very, very well is uh, I, I celebrate my successes and I've always taught my teams to celebrate our successes. What would you say has been your greatest obstacle and how have you overcome it? As a woman, uh, engineer, insecurity, um, in tech, etc., I've always faced sexism, but that has never been as bad as the biggest obstacle, which is um, the lack of financing for, uh, for, for female-led CEOs in tech. And so, you know, whether that's also related to sexism or it's a special category, I don't know. But I would say that's the biggest obstacle that we had. And I think what we've done in our, in our uh, team and what we managed to do, and by sheer force of will, because I talk to my teams about this all the time, is you have to really be very determined um, to figure out a way to finance your business. And if you can't get venture capital, there are alternatives. In Canada, we're extremely blessed with uh, tax credits. Um, so if you do really good innovative work, you have tax credits. There are various programs like ISC, which is Innovative Solutions Canada, which will fund your first sale to the Canadian government as long as whatever you're delivering is innovative and can be tested up to half a million for a, a civil application, up to a million for a military application. So programs like that, and IRAP is another one, and SRDs, as I mentioned, those kinds of programs are, are really what allowed us to keep innovating and to be as successful as we've been. Lastly, what advice would you give to someone looking to enter the security industry as a career nowadays? My biggest recommendation to a lot of the kids today is definitely go into some STEM related field. So science, uh, technology, engineering, or mathematics, and um, study any of these things because all of these are, are related to security. So at the end of the day, any one of these could bring you to the security field. And, and the thing that I find exciting about security, so I have a background in AI. I have a master's and PhD in AI before people even knew what AI was, right? <laughs> so it's really quite funny and both companies were based on that. And you know, when people ask me about that, and I say it's very exciting to have been in a field in technology that we've been able to take in so many different directions. But security is one of those fields that will be around forever. And, and my view on that, and I even, you know, even my, our, own, our own kids are in STEM, which is wonderful. The daughter's in biotech, our son is in, in the gaming industry. And when they were studying, I was thinking, well, whatever they choose, even if, if whatever it is doesn't work out, maybe someday they'll, we can sort of guide them towards security anyway. Wonderful. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Really appreciate it. You're, you're wonderful as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to interview me as well as for the award and the recognition. I'm very, very excited by it. Thank you so much.